Holy shit. <laughs> Oh, mine's getting a service. So, this is a new... Uh, new thing for me. There's all this newfangled... Holy shit! That thing rocks! Now, I didn't get told anything about it. Just get on with it. Oh, it makes a difference for me now to put my uh, feet down, actually. So, initially, this feels strange. I can feel the boxer engine kicking side to side. It seems strange to be at um, at this level again. I haven't seen how much fuel is in this thing, and I can't even see where to where to see that. Now this feels like it's a lump. This feels like it's a tiny little chassis on a great big lump now a bit snatchy that's probably just me getting used to it but it seems very snatchy indeed and I can't get over that kick from side to side it's it's incredible which I guess is the boxer engine you know it's uh, those two great big heads sticking out the side. <laughs> I don't think this is a quick shifter. I, uh, it is in dynamic. Where the bloody hell's my fuel gauge? Jeez, engine braking man. Shaft drive. It's quite severe when you're not used to it. When you've ridden a chain driven bike for as long as I have. Yeah, I'm definitely changing with the clutch because uh, just doesn't seem to be um, a quick shifter quick look down there mm, doesn't seem to be one there so Jesus Christ that is severe <laughs> that is ridiculous that nearly breaks your spine have a quick look through this menu no we don't want media at the moment fifty four miles to the gallon that's not bad is it I really want to see how much bloody fuel I've got in there sixty two miles worth there we go Hmm. 
you almost don't have to use the brakes it's very strange strange to get used to but um, it kind of wants to rip the back end off <laughs> that's, that's how much torque this thing has It seems so tiny compared to the XR and I mean that tank actually looks the same size but everything around me seems to be more compact. I guess it is and you know being lower down as well. But um, yeah when you open it up it seems to be... Uh, Trying to tear the back end off, it's, it's crazy. enough when I took the GS out I took it out with Adrienne on the back and they actually told me it had a quick shifter so trying to use a quick shifter when it doesn't have a quick shifter uh, an auto blipper uh, yeah it's, it's not nice <laughs> it's quite severe but it actually feels like this that's what the GS felt like but it's um, probably not a probably wasn't a good idea to go and try and test ride a new bike with my partner on the back you know you, you got to get used to a bike haven't you um i feel like this is going to take quite a bit of getting used to so they've let me keep it until tomorrow if i want to keep it until then which would be good gives me a chance to uh, have a proper ride on it at the minute I'm just sat in third and it just seems like it could do that all day going down this road I don't know what what we got yeah we got six it doesn't like <laughs> um, low speed in a higher gear what we are we're at two and a half thousand revs once you get going it's uh, it's very smooth there's that obvious boxer grunt and kicking and poking but but it's not a it's not a bad feeling at all not a bad ride Yeah, it's, it's severe. <laughs> that power is crackers. No other word for it. Let's put it into, uh, no, not Dynamic Pro, for God's sake. Let's put it into to road and see if that uh, softens it up a little bit. Crazy, I don't know whether you can see that wobble. It's, uh, I only thought you got that on uh, things like Harleys, you know, that shook themselves to bits. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. See what Adrienne thinks when she's perched on the back. I don't think I could ride this for a long period of time. I don't think it's designed for that. Um, in all fairness, I think it's designed for short blips, up to the chippy on a weekend, <laughs> maybe up to the coast. Um, that's just my initial thought. It, it, it feels maybe I've got too soft now I've had the XR for a year and I like my comfort. Um, but it just 
Yeah, it doesn't. With the uh, with the shaking and everything else, it doesn't feel like you'd uh, last a long time on it before you needed to stop for a rest. Pretty much like the GSXR was for me. Bloody hell! She's got some poke. That was not even trying. <laughs> it feels so strange putting both feet down. <laughs> I don't know why it made me giggle, but it did. Jesus, it wants to wrench itself out of my hands. It's you can't just sort of hover over the grips, you need to hold on, it's going, <laughs> if you're coming along fine, if you're not, get off, it just has so much torque, it is incredible, one of my favourite stretches, coming up, is it ruined? No. Holy shit. <laughs> that is ridiculous. I feel like I'm just sat on an engine of immense power and Wow, that's, wow, yeah, that's all I can say, the force at which it shoves you back and the force at which it just effortlessly pushes you into hyperspeed, it's, it's the thing about, you know, about twins, they don't scream, they just pop, 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 and you're going at a ridiculous speed and it's if you've never been on a v-twin it can be quite scary when you approach a corner thinking you're being reasonable and you're actually still at hyper speed The noise is just gorgeous. This is my next purchase. They make it the same for all the BMW models. Mine hasn't got this lockable bit, but you can buy that if you want. I'm not bothered, I would always take it off. Um, but yeah, it's, it's not the cheapest sat nav. It's, um, you know, typical BMW. It's twice, if not three times the price of a normal sat nav. Um, but, it just everybody that's got them all my friends that have got them just say you know it's it's a it's a fantastic unit it's based on the Garmin um, in fact I think it is actually a Garmin unit not based on it um, but then it has BMW's proprietary software to um, give you loads more information so it'll give you information about your bike as well the cheapest I've found is uh, about 580 Oh, there we go. Tank reserve level reach. Oh, now it shows the bloody fuel gauge. Why didn't it show that in the first place? That thing. Oh, my God. We are stuck behind traffic. Ah, right, there's me thinking it's supposed to be a beautiful day. Nope, it's not. <laughs> it was all right this morning, but it's gone a bit pants now. Um... And I thought, well, oh, there'll be 
hardly any traffic on the road again once um, you know once the initial rush hour is over and uh, no that's that's not right okay now this is weird because I accidentally forgot to pull in the clutch changing up and it felt like it killed the engine and let me change up so I don't know whether it does have maybe a Maybe it does have a quick shifter. I'll tell you what it doesn't have. Any wind protection. Jesus Christ. You can definitely feel it. My uh, my jacket goes up like a uh, like a kite. And uh, it's an effective air brake. <laughs> 